Hello. How's it going? So we're back today with episode three of the Moon Trek. This is a mock-up of what I think we're going to end up with in the end. Pretty much all the space in the back where the uh, keyboard was is going to be where our main computer will be. And then we'll somehow figure out how to put that dome on top so that we can have our camera in there. So without uh, further ado, let's take a look at all the lovely bits and pieces we have for our new flight computer. Raspberry Pi basic starter kit. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero budget pack. And that's going to be the big box. Let's see what we have in there. Have uh, some 90 degree, uh, 90 degree, and a straight through header. Those are convenient. See, yeah, I mean, I've got a few extra headers. Uh, this looks like an external USB. Um, another, well, yeah, two USBs. One uh, female, one host to one device. Got our, what is that? 16 gig card with noobs 3.1. So we'll probably have to update this uh, here shortly and we'll, we'll show you all those steps as we go. So let's see, we can make sure we had everything in shot here. <laughs> we got a five volt, one amp USB power supply. Good. Pay no attention to throwing stuff over there. <laughs> Woo. Uh, I think I probably got a dozen of these things. But anyway, so that's oh, one more thing. And this is the ah, DVI. So this is the DVI from little bitty DVI to standard DVI. Uh, these are USB device and USB host ports. And a card. So that's all well and good. Where's the, where's the processor? The main board. <laughs> uh, here we go. So this is the new main board, Raspberry Pi Zero W. Take a look at that. Ooh, how tiny. So to, just to give you an idea how tiny this board is, see if I have anything. This is your standard cell phone. So about three wide, I guess. Not terribly big. Anyway, there'll be uh, uh, lots of space. So there's our main board. And we need to put a header on here. And I originally thought I'd do the 90 degree header. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the straight through header. And the reason for that is as part of the development kit, we have uh, what they call the tea cobbler. If you can get it, there we go. The tea cobbler board. So, what this is designed to do is to conveniently break out all the I.O. pins from a standard 40 pin uh, Raspberry Pi header, break out all those I.O. pins onto a breadboard. So let's get all that together. And uh, let's see, we got our not terribly expensive, not terribly high quality breadboard. But it should work for us. Ooh. So let's see. We want to get that lined up. Interesting. Huh. Doesn't seem to line up completely with one row versus the other. It looks like it's one row and the next one over. See? 
So I guess from there you get the best view of it. All right. So the idea was that this, uh, along with the 90 degree header on the board, would allow you to sort of plug in that way and have access to all the ports and so forth. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and use the straight through header, solder the straight through header on here and use this ribbon cable that would connect from this header to that header and pretty much allow us to do all the debug stuff and then later on with this straight through header on this I guess this is the straight through header so yeah. solder that on what fun it's been a long time since I soldered stuff that tiny so that'll be interesting. So, in any case, um, so that uh, solder's on there. This, I'm not sure where exactly along here it plugs in yet, but that plugs in. And the reason I do that is so that later on, when I perfect what I want to do on the breadboard, I can use. this little guy as my upper level board. So what this allows with this header is that we just solder the header on there. So that would go something like that and then that can go on there and you'll note that the pads on here follow the same pattern as a breadboard. Uh, but minimally three on each side with the rails up the middle looks like the rails are designed to come over and be power so in any case eventually when we figure out all of the external circuitry that we need uh, we can put it on this board and plug it into the air like this and then this little board combo will be our main flight computer. So we got a little bit of soldering to do. Uh, that's not too terribly interesting. So that's all the bits and pieces that we have for now. It's going to go from this through the cable to the test rig. And here's our power. So um, I have to double check the noob's um, image that's on this disk. But I believe I can get it booted up, connected to Wi-Fi, and communicating over a terminal at least pretty quickly. I'm not too concerned with doing video uh, and keyboard directly. I'd rather just connect over a terminal. And uh, once we get all that soldered up and we get all the uh, basic boot process in place, then we'll start trying to turn on and off some little lights here. So that'll be the next thing. The next is soldering the connections. See you in a bit.
if you didn't notice from earlier, uh, this is not the 40 pin, uh, 40 pin T cobbler plus that works with these more recent versions of the Raspberry Pi. Instead, this is the T cobbler, which works with the earlier versions of the Raspberry Pi, which I do have. So this isn't a waste of money. It's just sort of money we didn't need to spend right now. But we do have a T cobbler plus on order. It's in the middle of shipping. So we won't be getting around to turning on any lights here soon. Um, but we did also, I forgot to show you this case that came with the budget pack and that holds the board nicely. It just sort of snaps in there. Uh, but then also still gives you access to the main IO pins so that we can just add our little upper board to those pins. And that is our whole flight system flight unit and then the idea is I think I'm going to attach this with some velcro to uh, the inside of the big track and that way I can pull this out and do separate tests and so forth and not have it uh, and then this will stay connected soldered into the rest of the electronics anyway that's pretty much it for this episode um, next episode we'll power it up and start doing some of the software side probably not terribly interesting uh, but we'll try and show you the highlights, the main bits, that kind of thing. Again, thanks. Take it, take it, fun. Yay! We tested the heat.